Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have you guys here. I am here, we're now looking into June the 12th through the 15th, it's 2023. And we're gonna pull some cards right here from the Tarot and Space deck and figure out which elements that I'll be reading right here for. Okay, let me see what I have here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. All right, this deck right here is a little more advanced. All right, so the comments in this deck is the cups, the lasers or the swords, the planets or the pentacles, and the rockets are the wands. So we have fire signs right here, the sun. Okay, so that is Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, okay? You can pause this, take a look, but that way you can see right here that that is the, um, the way that the cards are. They're a little bit more advanced here, okay? All right, let's see what we have here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Follow me on my Instagram. I do have a YouTube channel as well. I'll try to remember to put that in the comment section. All right, let's see what we have here. Fire signs right here. The chariot. Okay. So I'm getting like, you're moving forward right here. Some of you may be having a new vehicle. Maybe you're going to take a trip to a dealership. Maybe you work at a dealership. Something could be about a vehicle. Or a cancer. That could be significant. Okay. The Knight Captain of the Planets, Queen of Pentacles right here. Yeah. I feel like some of you, you are going to get a new vehicle. So I'm getting for some of you right here. I'm even getting like the Cancer is your wife. Maybe a Cancer is your wife. Okay. What's the message right here? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. June the 12th. The 15th is 2023. Okay, six of wands right here. So I'm getting like your wife is very much victorious or successful, or you're the wife right here. Okay, it could be the case right here. Maybe you're the wife right here. Okay, I'm getting like you definitely will be victorious. You definitely will be successful at some vehicle. Some of you, you may have definitely get a new vehicle. I'm getting right here, or maybe you're getting it fixed or something, but you can be successful about that outfit right here. Look at the star. Wow. Okay. So I'm getting like, as long as you're optimistic about something right here, you shall be victorious at it. I feel like it's a vehicle for some people here. Okay. Or even being a wife, that could be significant in some way here too. Look at the strength curve right here. Hmm. Now let's take a look at it. See how the woman right here is winking at this person? All right. So I don't know what's that about right there. Maybe somebody does know about the cancer. Or somebody knows about the Virgo or the Leo. Something like that with a strength card. Hmm. Yeah, a hermit card, Virgo. So I have a Virgo here twice right here. Okay, this one right here is the page of pentacles right here. So, yeah. Hmm. And this one here is the Howard font right here. So I'm gonna like the wife knows about the cancer. Well, you do. So if somebody knows about the Cancer, the Leo, or the Virgo. Because the way this one right here is winking, I feel like they definitely do know about the Cancer, the Leo, the Virgo. Or they do know something here about this vehicle in some way. They know about it. I'm getting right here. They know about the vehicle. Or some secret love that's the Cancer, or the Leo, or the Virgo. Somebody knows something like that, I feel for you. Yeah, the Five of Cups. See, they have regret right here because you do know about it for some people right here. I feel like, or some vehicle or something like that. Yeah, the Death card right here. All right. Yeah, something definitely could have ended with somebody's wife. I feel like it's wishful thinking right here. Something they was doing to somebody's vehicle or, or something about a vehicle in some type of way. Okay. All right. Or, or the wife did know their tag number. Something like that is going on here. Okay. Okay. Two of comments right here. I'm getting like something. I just seen the Wheel of Fortune. Something here is fate. Something's going to go into your favor, like it's financially, okay? Or the wife favor or something like that. Yeah, because Six of Wands is being victorious and successful here in some way, right? Yeah, financially. Hmm. Let's see what else here. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? All right, Seven of Swords. Yeah, see. <laughs> they was having hope right here. They could cheat and lie about something here in some way. Whoever this is, could be a relationship, could be anything at all, but somebody was having hope. They can cheat and lie about something here, and I feel like somebody's winking at them right here. Like, I already know about the cancer or the vehicle or something like that. They have regret. <laughs> I feel like they have regret over here. Okay, yeah, sexually or something they was doing here sexually for some people right here. For others right here, something is about a vehicle for somebody here. Something about a vehicle or traveling, I'm getting it right here. Okay. It could be somebody wants a new start right here with your vehicle. All right. Or they have regret you know something about this vehicle in some way. Some way you know about it. I feel right here. Yeah. Two of Pentacles right here. 
Because some people, I don't know, somebody caught them while they was creeping and they knew the vehicle or the tag number or something like that. Just a message right here, please. So I'm hearing somebody saying, so, so what? Okay, so I guess so what? Then. All right, so yeah, this right here, this is the seven of wands right here. Okay, I feel like somebody's defensive right here. Yes, that's how I feel. I feel like somebody here was creeping. I feel like somebody knew their tag number. I feel like it, pretty good, okay? Seven of Swords is um the creeping card, the cheating and lying. And I feel like with the Seven of Wands, it's a challenge right here now, right? Mm-hmm. Some challenges here now, all right? But I don't know who is saying so what, but somebody's saying so what. I feel like somebody doesn't care that somebody knew they was creeping or that the wife caught them or something like that. Okay, let me see what's going on here. What's the message right here, please? I'm about to hear that song by Pink. She says, so what? I'm still a rock star. I got my rock moves and I don't need you. Something like that. So could be the case here. Look at that seductive and mysterious. I'm going to like, you so mysterious right here. And I'm going to like, you seductive too. Or the way that you winking at somebody right here because you knew about something or something like that. Somebody's like, I feel like that seduces them, the fact that you know about it or something like that. Okay, even could turn somebody on to something here's a secret. For some people, I'm getting like, somebody's like, so what, all right? So I feel like in secret, you know, they like that or something right here. Could be a Scorpio over here. Or in the, this could have happened in Scorpio season for some people here. Yeah. I mean, but getting like in Scorpio season, you definitely going to be um toasting to something right here. Some people here, okay. Message right here. This is fire signs. All right, uh, I thought something to put down there. Yeah, see, somebody prays that you'll come back right here. They pray you'll come back right here because for some of you, you do have a boatload of customers right here and they're coming to you. Some people right here, or something is mysterious how you're getting these customers or something. For some people here, yeah, I'm getting like whatever's going on here. Something here is fate. You're going to survive this. And I do feel like for some people here, a Scorpio has something to do with something right here. This says Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. A Scorpio in somebody's chart in some way. Here. They have something to do with something here. I feel. Is a message right here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's see what I see. Okay. This says... Vision board, watch me do it right here. And just the way this flipped out here, reverse. I don't really read these cards reverse, but for some people here, you didn't even make a vision board. You just visualize something in your mind or something. Yeah, because I'm kidding. Like for some of you, you had to do something here very mysterious in some type of way. So maybe you couldn't do a vision board. You had to do it in your mind. Something like that. I feel right here. Yeah. Karma, the money doors are open for somebody right here, right? Okay, I'm getting like somebody's like, yeah. So I feel like some some revenge or something is money could be the case. Cause I was hearing that song by Pink. She said, "So what? I'm still a rock star, something like that." So so what? Somebody's still gonna get some money in some way, something like that. Okay, let me see what this deck right here is saying. This is the Love Oracle. Let's see what we get right here for the next minute and a half right here. This is Fire Signs. It's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I see here Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Date. Mm -hmm. hmm. Somebody want to date you, I feel. Or somebody want to meet up for anniversary or something like that. What's the message right here, please? Yeah, they're heartbroken right here. They're disappointed right here. Because I feel like somebody wanted to reconcile with you or they did want to date you. Or they want to get back together or something like that. Some people here. I just hear that song playing all in my head. That song by Pink. She's like, I don't need you tonight. Something like that. They did. I told you they want to reconcile with you right here. They're heartbroken, somebody right here. They want to reconcile with you, some people. Hmm. Yeah, they was thinking that you was going to surrender right here and reconcile with them in some way. Okay, but this one over here, it just made me feel like you had other plans about something here in some way. The way that that one is winking right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's a snake right here, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody could have thought that you was going to um surrender because the snake energy has somebody tight like that. I don't know if somebody here is like, I don't know, obsessive or what, okay? They even could be an enemy for some people here. I don't know, but yeah. All right. Hmm. 
they could have thought if they hold on tight to you, that you was definitely going to reconcile with them. And whatever way there could be smothering, I'm getting like a smothering energy with this.